Hello, and welcome to our History of World War II cartoons. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some cartoons that were made in the World War II era and are hardly seen today, unless you've ever been on YouTube. These cartoons were made in order to create a funny satire of mainly the Germans and the Japanese, and would show the Germans and Japanese behaving very idiotic as if they had no intelligence. For the longest time, many of these cartoons weren't seen on TV as they were seen as offensive to the other cultures, but many of them have been posted on YouTube for all to see. We'll be looking at these cartoons themselves as long as the propaganda strategy behind them and why the people of the USA love them. Let's get started and look at the first cartoon. Well, see you around! The first cartoon is entitled Wolf Blitz and was made by the MGM Studio, the same people who made the Tom and Jerry cartoons. It is a parody of the children's story The Three Little Pigs in which the wolf resembles Adolf Hitler, which the cartoon outright tells us. The story is, is that the three little pigs are building their houses just like the story. Only the third pig builds a full out war house instead of making his out of bricks. The smart pig says he's in preparation of Adolf Wolf coming. And as the story goes, the wolf blows down the first two houses and is unsuccessful with the third, while the other pig's joining up with the smart pig. The rest of the cartoon is slapstick comedy and German slash Nazi stereotypes such as implying that Nazi march every few steps they take and make fun of the German language. Open up the door, Schnitzen! Und I'll tunnel stutzen, hoofen, puffen! Und I'll puffen, hoofen! Und I'll blasen the stutzen, heffen, the puppenigel gets double blitz! Cartoons end up with Hitler getting driven into the ground and ending up below the earth and telling America, American audience to buy more war bonds to help with the war. The main idea of this cartoon is to make Hitler look as bad and as stupid as possible to make America laugh and feel good about the war. This cartoon also builds up the image that Hitler is just an idiot with very little intelligence. The next cartoon is entitled Daffy the Commando, which was made by Warner Bros the people behind the Looney Tunes. It takes place in Germany as a Nazi general receives a letter saying that if one more commando gets through he'll be done for. That's where Daffy comes into play, though he doesn't do much in this cartoon except torture the general and his idiotic soldier. In fact that's all the, all the cartoon is, just Daffy being his crazy self around these two Nazi characters. The cartoon ends with Daffy getting blasted out of a cannon into the middle of one of Hitler's speeches, where Daffy proceeds to hit Hitler over the head with a hammer. The cartoon is basically the idea of Walt's Blitz, where the idea is to make the Germans look as stupid and non- and as non-threatening as possible to make America feel better about the war to say that America will take care of the dumb Nazis. The next cartoon doesn't have to do anything with Germans this time, instead the Japanese. Bugs Bunny nips the nips, in which Bugs ends up washed up on a mysterious island that ends up being Japan. Bugs meets a Japanese soldier that proceeds to try and kill him but it doesn't work out. Bugs then encounters even more Japanese soldiers and comes up with a way to get rid of them all by feeding them grenade filled ice cream and blows them all up. Kind of gruesome way to get rid of them all, isn't it? I mean, I know it's a cartoon, but still, the concept is horrifying. And not to mention, why is Bugs Bunny so racist in this cartoon? He calls the Japanese monkey face and slant eyes. And even the title of this cartoon is racist. Nips is a racial slur for the Japanese at the time. And the first nips means to nibble or chew. So basically the title is saying Bugs Bunny, choose the Japanese. I think Bugs was racist in this cartoon because of the attack on Pearl Harbor at this time. 
America really didn't like the Japanese, and for Bugs to give them a beating was just what America wanted. The next cartoon is called Der DeFuro's Face, and stars Donald Duck. It puts Donald in Germany as a Nazi soldier. It shows that while living in Germany, Donald lives a pretty miserable life, living in a crummy house and eating wood for breakfast. The entire place is shown as being an unpleasant factory where many of the workers get minimum pay. Donald works at making ammunition for the Germans and is worked around the clock. The cartoon builds up how terrible Hitler is by giving Donald a 10 second vacation with pay with a backdrop to serve as an actual place of relaxation. Donald is then overworked and begins to lose his sanity. I'm not kidding, this scene is both creepy and disturbing. Don't believe me? Watch the whole scene. I know I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Luckily, it was all just a dream and Donald wakes up to find himself back in America and considers himself grateful to be a U.S. citizen and the cartoon ends with a tomato being thrown at Hitler's face. The main idea of this cartoon is to show how bad Germany is and how great America is by making Germany a horrible factory-like country where the people are forced to always salute Hitler and work every day of their lives without any breaks. And that concludes our look at World War II cartoons. We know we left out many other cartoons dealing with the war, but we feel these cartoons we did look at covered pretty much all the areas that these cartoons had. I think the war whole purpose of these cartoons was to make the opponent look at bad while building up that America was the greatest and everyone else is an idiot. We hope you enjoyed the video. Overall these cartoons are perfect examples of propaganda as they encouraged America to be patriotic and help out with the war. We hope you enjoyed the video.